everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm so happy to see you. And if you've been watching and reading along with me, then you know I love going to the library. I try and go at least once a week with my daughters. We love to look at all the books and options and pick out new adventures that we can bring home with us every week. And sometimes we don't even go to look at books, we go to do other fun activities at the library like story time. One time we went and they had a balloon artist there and sometimes they have art classes at our library too. So it should come as no surprise that I've picked out a story to read now that is all about visiting the library. And it's called Lola at the Library, written by Anna McQuinn and illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Here we go. Lola at the Library by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. I think that's Lola and she's got a stack of books in her hands. Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. The library opens at nine o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. There is a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says, shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sometimes there is story time. Lola loves that. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many. It takes ages to choose. Mommy has some books too. The librarian buzzes them through the machine then stamps the date inside. Lola must bring them back in two weeks, but she will probably be back for more long before then. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Mmm. Then it is time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It is the best way to end the day. The end. I couldn't agree more. I think the best way to end the day is tucked in bed with a nice book, don't you? Let me know what you thought about the story down in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to join the book club that I've started for curious kids who love to read, then head over to my Facebook page. I'll put a link down below for you as well. I also share lots of fun games and activities related to each book that I read. So you'll find them there at the book club. Until next time, happy reading.